I don't know the best way to do this, but I've been working erecting 5G masts on towers like the one behind me for the past few weeks while everybody else has been in lockdown. And we don't crack open these kits because we're explicitly asked not not to. But well, best, perhaps the best thing is for me to show you. It's best if I just show you, look. It's a piece of f***ing 5G kit, and this has Cove 19 on it. I don't really know of any products produced by any company that produces circuitry like this that, that has the brand name Cove.19, but that's what it says on the circuit board. Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Cuba, Not Vietnam. Conspiracy theory, so I've read all support. that stuff online about coronavirus and Cove 19, but I don't know if circuitry like that, and towers like that. Understand. My message must be your struggle is our struggle, your dream is our dream, and someday you too will be free. As, as Pope John Paul told his beloved Poles, we are blessed by divine heritage. We are children of God and we cannot be slaves. History shows that it is precisely when totalitarian regimes begin to decay from within it is precisely when they feel the first real stirrings of domestic unrest that they seek to reassure their own people of their vast and unchallengeable power through imperialistic expansion or foreign adventure. So the era ahead of us is one that will see grave challenges and be fraught with danger. Yet it's one that I firmly believe will end in the triumph of the civilized world and the supremacy of its beliefs in individual liberty, representative government, and the rule of law under God. And that's why we must now summon all the nations of the world to a crusade for freedom and a global campaign for the rights of the individual. I look at you and I know I'm looking at people who have seen and suffered the full gamut of totalitarian terror some of you lost friends and loved ones in your struggles and some of you risk your lives and all your earthly belongings and you will bear scars for the rest of your life you're men and women of courage heroes who have devoted a lifetime to struggle for god's greatest gift for freedom and for that i can only say i'm honored to be here with you today and i'll be proud to stand by you always Today, the goals of our foreign policy are the same as they have been for the last four decades. We stand against totalitarianism, particularly imperialist expansionist totalitarianism. We are for democracy and human rights, and we are for a worldwide prosperity that only free economies can give, and the pursuit of human happiness that only political freedom allows. Tyrants tyrannize because that's what they do for a living. But the ungodly force called tyranny still cannot rid the human soul of its freedom no matter how hard it may try tyrants can defy the benefits of or deny the benefits i should say of freedom to their peoples can kill freedom by killing free people but freedom itself they cannot have for one thing people like you won't allow it nor will that higher being allow it our greatest freedom the freedom to choose right from wrong cannot be willed away by the tyrants for God has given all humankind the gift of knowing right from wrong and the responsibility to choose between them. This, my friends, is the essence of freedom, that we follow the biblical admonition, I have set before you life and death, therefore choose life. That tyranny is a parasite that saps the strength of a nation in its sway, that like those who lived under Macbeth's tyranny, the tyrannized millions will ever cry out 